Welcome to Powerful Appointments. Today I'm doing another guest appearance on the iPod Touch world. Today's video is for Android users or for people interested in seeing what Android has to offer. Now what's becoming more popular recently is video sharing apps, so I wanted to take a look at the top 5 Android video sharing apps available. So the first one I'm taking a look at here is StreamZoo. Now what I like about StreamZoo is that you can follow streams basically. So if you're interested in something like Cars for example, you follow the Cars stream then you see a stream full of videos and photos for cars. So this isn't just a video sharing app, uh, so I'm kind of cheating putting it in the list, but you can share videos with it. Now the reason it's at number five is because it's kind of buggy and it wouldn't even let me launch the video recorder. So uh, once I sort that out, it could be a very powerful app. So the next app I'm gonna talk about is this Loop LR. Now a strange name, but this app is quite promising as well. And the issues with this are it's quite buggy too. So you can see here, you can scroll through other, other people's videos, you can see them by favourites, so you can see the popular video straight away. And then you can press this share button, record a video and share it. Now what they talk about here is that you can share a video in the background, so you can continue to watch videos while you're sharing one at the same time. So you see here I'm not on a like loading screen or anything, it's just doing it all in the background. While this is a good idea, it doesn't actually work that well because while your video is uploading, everything becomes really slow. So you can see here, while I'm trying to watch this video, it's actually quite a struggle. So I'd rather just wait for the video to upload without having the option to browse around if it's not going to work properly. But again, if this wasn't buggy, it would be a very powerful app too. So in at number three is Quick Video. Now Quick Video becomes simpler and less buggy than the other apps we've just looked at. So you can do quite a few things on it, but the thing I'm concerned about is video sharing. So you just click on the record and share button and you record a video and once it's uploading you can decide how you can share it so you see there's a share button at the bottom after you name the video which we'll do in a second so you click this share button and then you have the options to share it with in all these options so this is a really simple way to get some social video sharing going to your friends you have on your other social networks now in at number two something kind of similar called give it so this is another simple way you can share videos. You can see all videos or there's a share button at the top. Now you can do it from the gallery or from the camera as you can see here. Now once you record this, again you get the options to share it with some of your friends on Facebook, etc. So this is another really simple way to just simply share videos. So just like, just like on quick video, you name the video and then you get the option to share it. Right now, at the number one spot is a more popular video sharing app called Social Cam. Now you might see your friends on Facebook already using this because it is gaining popularity pretty quickly. So I had a good experience with this, it's pretty simple. I didn't have any buggy experiences at all. So it's easy to find videos to watch, see what your friends are doing and share videos with your friends. So let's try recording a video. So you just click on this video camera and then you can start recording and you can see this loaded pretty quickly. So now I'm recording, I'll finish the very interesting video. You can create a title and then you can continue. And then you tag your friends in it. And then here's when you decide how you can share it and who you want to share it with. So it's pretty simple really. And the fact that it's more popular and you might have friends already using it makes it the number one video sharing app on Android at the moment, in my opinion. So uh, what do you guys think? And how do you think this compares to the video sharing apps on iOS like Vidi, for example, which is also pretty popular? Don't forget to subscribe to the iPod Touch World if you haven't done so already. And if you want to see more Android and iOS app reviews, head over to my channel at Powerful or Pointless.